The man involved in this encounter here you see behind me with Dayton police has now died. We now know his name is Antonio Lewis. He lost consciousness last Wednesday while being placed in handcuffs after police responded to a car crash they believed he was involved in. Our Mamie Ba has been following this story and she spoke with the FOP and community leaders about the impact this has on police and community relations. No, I can't breathe. When you heard Mr. Lewis say, I can't breathe to officers, what did you think? George Floyd and uh, actually Eric Garner. This time it's Antonio Lewis on the ground being restrained by Dayton police. <laughs> as they struggle to put him in handcuffs after he grabbed their taser. <laughs> Body cam video showing responding officers then turn him over, but it's too late. The 62 year old died Friday, the same day Dayton police released this video and informed the public. I walked, watched the video about three times and my thoughts were um, it was incomplete. So there wasn't enough video to actually um, make a decision on what happened. And that's what I'm hearing from other members in the community. And Dominic isn't the only one who feels this way. Attorney Michael Wright represents Lewis's family. I have uh, made the request. I have not received, uh, you know, the, the, the videos. This should have been and could could have been handled differently instead of treating him like a suspect. Police say around 6 in the morning, June 7th, they responded to a crash and found this white SUV smoking and found Lewis injured and his pants torn. Officers say while waiting for medics, he became agitated. That's when things escalated. I did reach out to the city to request all the body camera video from the officers involved, Chelsea White and Dylan Leote. I'm told by a spokesperson it will take weeks to fulfill and the video will be heavily redacted due to HIPAA. I also called multiple city officials to request an on-camera interview. I received a call back from Kyle Thomas, the president of the Fraternal Order of Police. He agreed to a phone interview. He believes the officers did nothing wrong. Just uh, very, very tragic and unfortunate that while uh, the officers were in contact with that person, they had some type of medical episode. So... Um, as you've seen, the department's been up front. Uh, they've put information out. Dayton Mayor Jeffrey Mims declined my request for an interview given the investigation into the incident that is being conducted by DPD. Thomas tells me it's not uncommon for the department to investigate itself. Do you think what's possibly best for this situation is to have an outside agency come in and investigate since, you know, you're saying it's pretty cut and dry here? What they have provided me, it, it doesn't seem that it's necessary, but that is for that is a decision for police command and city command. I'm told the autopsy results will be available in six to eight weeks. Funeral arrangements have been announced for Lewis. He will be laid to rest on June 24th. Back to you.